said, uh, she said, uh, you, you're thinking about doing it every day, ain't you? I said, well, I might give it a try for a day or two. You know, see if I can keep up with it. She said, what's going to start with? I said, well, I bought this at the roadside flea market the other day. It's got a gauge in it, yonder. Uh, it's off in yonder in the house right now. It don't work. But it's got this little thing right here. Y'all know, know what that does? You, you put this thing right here on that other thing, and then you put your gauge right there on that thing, and this thing right here will be on that right there, and then you put this right here up in a hole on your lathe or a turning, something that's turning. You put this little ball up in there, or in a milling machine, you can use it a uh, multitude of ways. And when, when, when that's going around and around and around, it makes this right here go sideways. And when that goes sideways, a little fluctuation of a thousand or more, or less, according to what kind of, uh, and this this is this brand new, never been used. But anyways, I got the little thing, and I, the, the reason I got it out now is I had it in the truck over, and I got to unload it to do something, and so get that out of that box and get that in that toolbox in there but th these things right here are rusted they, they have a little flash rust on them and I'm gonna get them in that electrolysis tank post haste you, you know what I mean I'm gonna do it right now there's two of them in this whole little set right here and it's your standard little flat bar you know it's got that little thread in the end and you put this down in there and then you put that on there and then it's got this clamp you know it's a multi-purpose multi thing it's got two little uh, contacts there that uh, can ride against something, but I'm going to get these in that electrolysis tank. And, and, and now I'll tell you something about this right here. Once it comes out of that electrolysis, my experience with it, once it comes out of there, is it'll actually have a darker color. And, and this is this is a part right here that I would oil because I would, you know, I want to leave it bare metal. And I do want some kind of coating on it. Even that KR or something or another, you know, some kind of bio seal or something like that. Just whatever you got laying around that you picked up at a yard sale. You know, take a chance on that being what's in the can. So, even with a little three-in-one oil, I'll get that in that electrolysis. You know, I feel confident that the only thing to be missing when I take them out is that uh, rust. Tell you what, this ain't one I really wanted to be doing. I'll put it off long as I can. So once I get started on it, I think I think I should get more into it. But I've got a I've got a bunch of heads that I brought back from the east coast of Arkansas. Engine heads. Work to be done. So but in the meantime, I need to get them in that back corner back there. Uh, because if I put them right here, then I'll have to move them every day to get back here. Like what this stuff right here, what I'm going to move now. You know, I move this, I move this stuff every day. Uh, I really do. You know, it, it, it just may be therapy, you know what I mean. It seems like it works for me, you know. But, now the other, the other day, uh, the other day, if you remember, I, I'll show you something. I poked it up in that bed there, it needs to be refinishing. But I hope y'all can see that. Oh, I just hope y'all can see that. Rounded them corners off right there, you know what I mean? Maybe in here in the light, but it's done. So, I'll show it to you. The three coats that rust over you. You know, I'll put three coats on there worth it needs it or not, every time. But uh, it, that overspray got underneath where it was tied up right there, so it's got a good coating, no, no worry there. The corners are rounded, and it's, uh, I, I think it's, uh, rich, I think it's back to the same color it was when I got it. But, 
you, you know, when, when they're making these things to sell, you know, they would have to hire, they'd have to hire an extra man just around them corners off right there for every one of these to come down that line right there. I would have liked to have seen it a little stronger with a, you know, maybe, maybe a diamond brace right here on the back of this welded right there, boy, that would sure strengthen it up. Uh, I don't know that that's weak or anything, but it's only a quarter inch thick metal. We'll use this anyhow. I got this bed over yonder at an auction sale the other day. Well, I'm going to have to do some grinding on that thing, you know. It's on. It didn't cost very much. And I got the other part to it, too. The, uh, the rails that goes down through there. You know. Uh, I think we're going to paint this kind of that carnival scene. Merry-go-round, you know what I mean? Some little little swirlies on it and stuff. Maybe uh, about three colors. But for sure, I have to I have to get the engine heads in the in the drive. So you know, I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go with it right now and. I'll show you what I got to deal with. <clears throat> Man. That's a that's a wheelbar load of engine heads right there, if you don't see that. They're um well, I'll show you what it is. There's so many stuff I can, I can pile on top of each. And you know, it's, it's, that's a good item right there. Them two spacers made out of that three-inch pipe. Well, it's really strong, especially if you get to schedule 80. There's some uh, Maytag flywheel magnets. You know, what are you going to do with them? I think I'll put them right there. Because I probably, I probably need to look about them for to get out of magnet. I know there's going to be comments about that. But one of the comments was, and, and what brought it to mind was, that this right here, I think this was a new old stock head from a 3 to 5 International um, McCormick Deere engine, you know. Uh, I think this was a L, this was a LA are to be rebuilt once I get some machinery set up. And, and, and this is a 3 to 5. I think this is a kerosene. It's got that uh, air thing on it right there. Man, that's a 3 to 5, just a normal one right there. Ain't nothing fancy. Uh, see, one of, them, one of them is about twice as thick as the other one. It's a, it's a kerosene head. You know, you can run them engines on that dirt. Uh, vapor gas, too. They run real good on it. But that's a stover there. And that's a one and a half horsepower igniter. You know, it cost us a lot to get the tooling to rebuild heads with. And right there is one I made a spark plug adapter for igniter right there. That's a three horse pack. You know, that's a one and a half horse, one and a half to two and a half LA. No, that's LB. It's got the casting right here. But it's not been drilled over here on this side uh, for that water. Seems like kind of all of them will work on any given engine. That's an igniter, one and a half. There's a little gear reduction gut in there somehow. Oh, 
there's one of them fowls fell over that other head along the boat. There's another, that's a, that's an igniter one and a half horsepower. You know, I may be cramped for space right now, but you know, I think I think I think uh, uh, I have a building in the works. Boy, it was a success right there. I got all of them heads in there, man. So now tomorrow I won't have to move them out. I can just move this fluff stuff. Over, overhang, over, over a mount. She says, "What about the music in your videos?" I said, "Well, they won't, they won't let me on account of that copyright put a music in there that I would want." So, you know, if you want some background music in this video, hit replay. Go back to the beginning and throw a earbud in your ear with some. Prince, you know, Purple Rain to start off with. Just go ahead and hit it up there on the playlist on the channel here. You won't have to move on. Look. If there ever was a place for sandblasting, this bedstead would be a place where that sandblasting would come into play. Or at some point in time, I may even have a sandblaster. But you know, like an old iron bed there, when you were run up on one, if you've got any desire to ever have one, you should get it right then. I'm just saying. Put this on that tractor in a couple of days. It's been raining here. That's about it. 